Mass, uh, hold on. Mass Effect elevators will always be the goat of loading screens, and I will die in that hill. The effects are really good. It sticks out from some copy paste jobs of other games. Yeah, and again, one of the I will say though. Bethesda has someone has criticized like there have been some critiques of this game about how some of the planets are more or less empty. But Bethesda has Bethesda uh, has countered those arguments by being like, like yeah, like there like, even in our like think about if you think about it realistically, like the way we look at Mars because again we have seen footage of, and some pictures of Mars, there are going to be empty planets out there. <laughs> You know, do, like, uh, do they really like? Realistically, do you expect every single one of the planets that we can go to in this game to be just filled with life? You know, no, you you really can't. You know what I mean? Like, there are going to be, and also apparently there were two galactic wars, uh, in this game's uh, past. So. It, if every planet was packed with life or settlements or whatever, I'm going to be honest, I would be disappointed because that's not really re realistic of what exploring other planets are going to be like. Yeah, there will be planets that are just basically empty and there's no reason for humans to try and settle on that planet, you know, other than population, uh, you know, trying to spread out our population. So... I'm okay with the idea that I might come across some empty planets, you know? And yeah, I will agree with you. Best loading screen was the elevators in Mass Effect 1. They were entertaining and I lo and they actually gave you a reason. I found myself tempted to keep going on the elevators with and constantly swap out my party members. <laughs> just so I can hear the different conversations that my cr my crew would have um, so but yeah I am definitely enjoying this game I hope other planets have very unique I hope the important planets have unique identities to them I'm expecting neon by its name to have you know a lot of neon but I'm also picturing a very dark seedy type of place and I can't wait till we get there but New Atlantis, like, this is really cool. Like, the, and again, I love this sort of mist that's hanging over. And it works really well with the trees. I don't know if we, there are going to be clear days on this planet. But I would be okay that if every time I came to this location, there was just a dense fog. I would be okay with that you know like this is really cool and I would be okay if this was the only weather pattern for this area because it, it stands out you know what I mean like as soon as I step out from that from the, the train station I if I met always with this fog and these like sort of swamp trees yeah I'm going to be like yep I'm on fucking New Lantis you know it's again it stands out and again, instead of having a pit boy, we have this little watch. Except it doesn't do things that you you would expect. Oh, hold on. Yeah, landing on a planet, expecting to see development, developed settlements, uh, legit Ray Ray and center is stupid. There's also one lad tried to claim exploration was a lie because you can't land on a planet and turned out to be a gas, out to be a gas giant. People are lo are looking for any excuse to dunk on the on the game, and the name Neon alone gives me Omega vibes. Yeah, I'm thinking Omega. Uh, I'm thinking like Omega, except maybe it's not built in asteroids. Now, if they had if they had like space stations built into asteroids like Omega, I would love that. That would be absolutely amazing. I oh, I, I hope they do that. Um, but again, this is also, keep in mind, this is also a Bethesda game and they tend to be very mod friendly with, you know, with, the, with their game. So, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what modders will uh, will do with this game. Uh, now, mind you, that's if it's as mod friendly as other Bethesda games have been in the past. Um, but mind you, there was that there was uh, there is a one famous bug that's going on. There's a pl there was a streamer who spent seven real life hours traveling to Pluto in the game, but then a glitch happened, 
and the player rounded up inside of Pluto and the and on the screen it says Pluto zero meters away so the player actually ended up inside of Pluto or maybe Pluto is just so small um, Gonna turn up the game audio a little bit. Uh, the paintings look what you would expect in a Bethesda game. You know, paintings in video games always just looked dreadful. Like, ugh. Oh my god, look what this like now. The constellation are all about space exploration. They believe being happy where we are right now in terms of the known universe is bad like because apparently after a couple of settlements have been made people sort of getting settled down and they weren't as interested in exploring the universe anymore uh these guys are apparently an organization that's like no fuck that let's keep on exploring there's the vastness of space still like there's more to explore and immediately also i will say as soon as i enter this place I, you're met with a giant fucking compass which when you look through it you see stars you see these, these chandeliers you see these p images of what are clearly f most likely famous explorers I think that's supposed to be like Neil Armstrong but like then we have like some guy clearly exploring on a mountain I guess and then also look what's on the table Apollo 7 yeah, like, again, say what you want about Bethesda, like, with their buggy games, but the thing is, they, they are great at designing locations. Like, again, I, I feel like this is an explorer's, you know, a, a, a place where explorers gather, you know? I, I, I immediately get that vibe. And it's great. And we even have someone in... Now, someone behind that door is clearly talking about a bet. So maybe, like, they even make bets with one another, like, oh. We'll find out. And again... Old nautical shit models. Okay, we'll... we'll a telescope. Come on. Classic bookshelves. Like, is that supposed to be... Oh. I am... Lo again... As I'm looking around this I haven't gone into detail yet but I'm looking at this place attention detail and visual storm has always been the strength of theirs yeah like again I'm looking at the, like immediately from here first initial look you open the door because again people are not going to be analyzing this like the whole room straight away but like you're immediately you'll, you'll probably ignore Apollo you see that you, 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 you see the doors, you open the doors and again you're met with a starry sky, the telescope is a bit obvious, the ship is a bit obvious like there's just all this clear thing that this is a place where people believe we need to keep on exploring and it's and also like they have plants, you know this place does not feel sci-fi you know, it does not feel like a sci-fi area it feels like what you would expect from you know like other fantasy settings i love it we appear to have a visitor welcome to constellation we have a lot to talk about would you care to tell us what happened to our friend why you're here and he isn't Excuse me? I think you might have us confused with some cutthroat bounty hunters guild. Vasco, verify Barrett's location and status. Currently, assisting the miners on Vectera following a Crimson Fleet attack. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. 
I probably but that could. didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. There's no evidence Thank that you, the, 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 the game would stop Now, me. let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Godfrey, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Yep. Before I do, I'm gonna explore this room a bit more. Oh my god, look at this! Like, oh, these guys are old school, and I love it! Like, look at that! These guys are old school. Oh my god, they even have a fucking wooden duck. <gasps> oh! God damn! And again, like, I like this bit here. This is a cool blend of tech and, you know, like, oh, the, like the, the digital display built into the wood. I, oh, I love it. And again, more classic stuff. Oh my God, a Mercury camera. <laughs> Spy glasses. Is that supposed to be Amelia Earhart? <laughs> Hold on, I'm switching to my gun. I need to zoom in for this. Is that supposed to be Amelia Earhart? <laughs> like, oh my god, this again. I these are a neutral group. Oh, I, I, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I was leaning towards being a pirate, or like a bounty hunter, or just a plain old mercenary, but like. These guys, I really want to side with these guys, or whoever these guys are with, you know? They, 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 these guys are just so cool. I have no idea what this is. Like, I'm, like, is that supposed to be for pressure? Not a cool comp- oh, god damn. Okay, back to the story, back to the story. That's it. Just like that. We thought there were only two of them at first. Oh. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that Easy girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Fair enough, but you need a place to stay in the city, right? Why don't you settle in here? We owe you that much. Come find me when you're ready. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing... In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Oh. Just mind your head. Sorry, I do want to also point out... Uh... I did not agree to join Constellation. <laughs> it's just like, nope, you're a member of Constellation. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. 
<laughs> that is hilarious. I didn't join, but the game's like, no, no, you joined. <laughs> oh, is this supposed to be my course? They, what the hell? They, is this a basement or, or is this is my course? Oh no, this is owned. Okay, that bed's owned, so it's not, that's not mine. So this is not mine, okay. Wow. See, now we get into the sci-fi stuff. You know, when you get into their storage or their work... Ooh, that's a cool suit. I like the red and the dark colors. Um, sorry, I got distracted by a cool suit. Um, but yeah, like when it gets down to making their gear and storage, then, it, then we see all the high-tech stuff. Where's our best? You know what? I'm gonna. Uh. Go up here? I did not read that transition. Maybe I should have. It would have let me know that if this was my room. Oh no, this is the rooftop. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it doesn't look like the fog's clearing. Which, again, I'm okay with. Because again, it, having I understand some people would criticize that there's no like weather cycle to this game, but again, I feel like this fog adds like character to this you know planet. And again, weather is going to be vastly different on other planets than ours. So who's not to say that they're going to be with you know a singular weather system? Is this our room? Nope. Is owned. Is this our room? Oh, this is a hallway. Um, you know, let's. This is the dining area. Which, again, I love the old school vibe. Ooh, they even have like a futuristic darts. Can I play it? No. Damn. Uh, right. We're on the search for our bedroom. Nope. Nope. Again, more old school vibes. Like, they even have a fucking globe of fuck. Oh, that's cool. Close. Uh, more hallway. Maybe it's, maybe it's here. Nope. Owned. Uh. Oh, that's our ship. The, it's, it's apparently an old, uh, older model type of ship. Finally! We finally found our room! And, uh, like, I'm an hour into this game. And we, like, I'm sorry, I'm an hour into this stream, and I have done very little. Like, I just keep getting distracted by all these other things, like... Uh, ooh, we have, we have, oh, we even have, they gave us our storage, a storage container. We even have a like cool digit frame. I think that cycles through pictures. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, but you know it's still hilarious. Um, local hour. No, that's cool. I like that. Oh my god, I think that's really fucking cool. That they the game is ha because of planets having different rotations. There's no universal time. Oh, that is cool. Like, we have one local hour equals two hours and five minutes UT. So that's cool. And I guess UT stands for universe time. Sort of like how in Star Wars we had a galactic standard day as opposed to local time. Like a local day. Can you name the ship or is it pre-selected? Also, it's an RPG getting sidetracked as part of the course. Is, pa is part for the course. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong. Like, that, I will say, this is, again, this is one of the reasons why I love Bethesda games. Because you could be walking, like, even in Skyrim, you could be marching, you could be on your way to the Jarls. You, uh, sorry, you could be on your way to Whiterun. Like, just use Skyrim as an example. You could be on your way to Right, uh, right One. And you go into the shop 
to turn in, you know, some items that you got during the, the destruction of Helgen, and all of a sudden you're given a quest to go to a, you know, to a ruin, you know, or you hear you overhear someone and it starts a quest line, like, ooh, maybe I should check in with this kid that's trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. That's dodgy, you know, like. And then there's also like these just visual stuff that tells you about the characters like and the factions. It's always pretty cool. And the same goes for Fallout. You wander around Fallout and you'll be like, oh, what's this? And it's it's some cool uh, stuff like, you know? Um, again, it's always great attention to detail. And again, I this is amazing. The fact that like local time versus universal time, that is a great attention to detail. They could have just kept it universal time, but they didn't. They were like, you know what, let's actually have fun with this. Also, I since she brought up the boost, the basically a jetpack or a jump pack, because there is a difference between a jetpack and a jump pack. Um, if you pick a bounty hunter as your background, you actually get back, you get you get boost pack training for free. You get that skill tray for free. And I was just like, that's clearly a nod to, J to Boba Fett and Django Fett. The idea that you're you're a bounty hunter, so you're automatically proficient with using like jump packs and jetpacks, that is clearly a nod to Boba Fett or Django Fett, which I love. I was tempted to go bounty hunter for that fact alone. I was thinking, ooh, maybe I should be a pistol wielding, you know, uh, bounty hunter with a jetpack, you know? Uh, my brother, uh, when he saw me showing off the, the ships that you could build in this game, he was like, he wants to build the um, the Slave 1. And there's a, there's a YouTube channel that does open world games specifically. And they are at the, they're at the making the uh, Razor Crest from the Mandalorian as their ship. Now, back to your question about this ship naming. Yes, you're you're supposed to be able to name your ship, but again, the ship is technically not mine. It belongs to this faction, so I don't think I can name it just yet. Once it's fully mine, or once I buy a new ship, then maybe I'll be able to name it. Also, if it's on, if it's only uh, fifteen, my character's been up for a while. You know what? No, he's not going to go to sleep. Not yet, at least. Oh, but look at that. Oh, look at those aliens! Look at that! That's fucking cool. Let's let's explore this lodge a bit more. Uh, we are over an hour into my stream. We're just going to do some exploring. Oh, wow. Whose room is this? Batball? Oh, my God! It's like a combination of baseball and cricket. Oh my god, look at that! Tell me this does not look like a combination of cricket and baseball. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> e e uh, economic meltdown. Feeding the front lines. Look at that alien, like, what the hell? Return of the Interceptor, coming this fall. Toy spaceship, oh, look at that. Star locked, the board game. Symbol game map. How uh, they know exactly what players will want to do upon seeing the bounty hunter, and cool makes and cool that makes sense. Of yeah, like oh, like again, like this game is pr like no, again, I didn't pay for the game. Like I, I wait, I wait until it was early. Sorry, I, I wait until it was out of the game pass. You know, because unfortunately it was my it's my brother's birthday today, and I needed the money to buy him his uh, PlayStation Five. Because he really wants the new Spider-Man game, and we all know what Sony's like when it comes to Spider-Man games. So, I was like, you know what, 
I'll buy him a PS. I'll help buy him a PS5 for his birthday, and then on Christmas we will then eventually upgrade his console, his other console, the Xbox. So like, the only things, the only games my brother cannot access are PC exclusives. But um, but no, he's he's happy enough with his games because he mostly plays single player anyway. And he's young, so he's not looking for ultra high def uh, graphics. But you know, it's the reason why I've had to wait so long to access this game. It's because, you know, buying a birthday present. Oh, but look, this, this game is stunning so far. Like, I, your service, Captain. like, I could be hyper critical of it, like everyone else has been, but like, I think it's important to point out when so I think it's important when some to point out more when someone does something right than it is to hammer down what they did wrong. Lately, you know? I find myself spending more and more time. And, like, business has appealed to Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, I would call out games where they do something wrong. I like, think they do something very badly wrong. But, like, so far, like, this game is exactly what you would sort of want. And again, like, I haven't, besides from the, lo the terms, of, terms of agreement uh, bug that I had at the start, like, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I hope you are. Now let's check out the ship because you asked me about it. So, yeah, my ship has a name. It's called the Frontier. So there you go. The Frontier. It's your, uh, we saw a model of the ship upstairs in the hallway. And uh, this ship belongs to the Constellation. The organization that I'm currently... Uh, apparently randomly joined without my consent um <laughs> and based on what that guy said about project indigo i really do wish i actually attempted to steal it i should have i should have attempted to steal it i regret not attempting to steal it But no, I also like how fun. these NPCs I know he quickly gets into trouble distinguish all the time. themselves. Everyone just sort of like this guy. Fine, but still. He's he's open to exploration, but like he has some limits of his belief. Clearly, he was betting with the younger gentleman about the idea of alien life, whereas the I younger kid he clearly captain. has a very romanticized idea, you know. And he clearly believes that there's alien life out there, or there there must be some other, there must have been at some point an advanced civilization, not just humans. Are they still around? Maybe they're extinct. All he all he cares about is clearly that there was some kind of ad other advanced life, and I think that's what the bet was made about. Her, her it's I been think quieter gets, around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the I full time. On the, uh, I think uh, she clearly is more into the tech stuff of everything, especially the idea of this. Like, clearly, she might, she must have. You a, mind like, if a I ask you kind of a personal question, stuff. Walter? That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming now that I think about it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? She Good. Looks like a fine ship. I think we kind can find a spot for you. A and along the way, I can spot. give you the oh, very abbreviated yeah. tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. If you need a moment of quiet conversation. So we could have actually asked her for a Emphasis tour. on the quiet part. At least usually. Let's head upstairs. So I now just got Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. Yeah, like, um, hold on, let's pause it. Like, you can see that the ship has some damage. Like, look at the, especially around the engines. 
because like you know the amount of times they've probably been turned on you know like I would be like I wouldn't be like you can even see at the very tips they used to be white but now they're scorched black you know and look at you can see some you can see some uh, oh I actually banged my mic you can see some damage here along you know the you know nooks and crannies of the ship the leg the landing gears clearly are uh, are worn a little bit by use we have some scratch marks some fading of the paint like this ship does not look brand new like this ship does not look brand new and again I I think it's good because it gives it character you know and again like especially around the engines here we go we're, we're getting back to the engine we see that there's clearly some kind of pollution maybe from rain or the different atmospheres um, this section I don't know like these engines look like they were always black so okay there's not a lot there like there oh look at these scratches like look at that you know again you can see that this ship has has been on some journeys you know and I like that now mind you again a part of me feels like maybe I shouldn't replace the ship I should keep it as it is for the sake of like it's my first ship it's uh, it, I, sh I should bring the frontier with me to the very end so this is the bar usually no tender so help yourself with the very space style any style now let's see about that room yeah. Your luck? We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Oh, look at this alien skull. Oh, I, did, I, did, I, I didn't notice because I was busy looking for the room. And again, that's why I like multiple walkthroughs or playthroughs is always good because you might notice new stuff that you haven't noticed before. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! There we go. We just completed an activity. And see, that's another thing that games, um, like, this is probably the ship in its heyday. Like, look at that. The, okay, so maybe the engines. Uh, I don't know if it's because of it's a, it's a model, but or maybe because they had over the time they had to get replacement parts. But like there, that this is what the ship originally looked like. It had no weapons on it. Like, and there's clearly some parts that were that are there that are not. Like, let's say let's jump to comparison. Um, like there we go. Again, it's cool that they have like a model of the ship. I I have a message waiting for me on Discord. What is that about? Do, 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 do. Oh, I've been messaged by someone. Okay, and uh, one of my, let's see, I got a message from my DM. It seems like, uh, da -da 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 -da. if I don't cough too much today, I might be able to do the game, otherwise I'm going to have to wait for, okay, so there might be a cancellation in my D&D game today, which means more Starfield. I keep I keep looking over here because my OBS display is here, but the but my camera is over here. Um, or um, instead of doing Starfield, if uh, you are available ten planet, and if you have finished One Piece, we can get our second half of our interview done. Ooh. We've always considered ourselves explorers. 
This really is uncharted territory. You know, uh, I would rather store things on the ship. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Okay, here we go. Typical Bethesda. She was walking mm -hmm. into that wall. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Good, a chance to learn about the United Colonies. Jumping to anthropology on me already? Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. You mean, besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Okay, so... It's a bit weird, because, like, again, they... they uh, is the ship ours, or is it still the constellations? There's a... That's a bit confusing. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office, where my contact works. And listen. Whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood. Hon, this is a good question. What do you mean? You don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Wow. So I do like how I do like this. It's called okay. On that, I will say, in terms of a store in terms of an organization that you have to join for the sake of storytelling, I love this. Because too often in RPGs, even though they give you the opportunity to play however you want, if you want to play a criminal, play a criminal, if you whatever. But like See, like, Mass Effect was the first game that did this type of system, and I love it. Now, mind you, in Mass Effect, you were still a good guy. It's just that you would you would do whatever the hell you you, you needed to do to get the, the uh, mission done. Hello. Okay, you know what? Uh, like Fallout. Those 4. are the rules. Advance humanity's knowledge sec, to the best I'll of your ability. As long as, long as you do that, I'm not here to judge you. Now, let's you and I get over to Mast. Okay, now I'll pause it and get to my, uh, what I was saying about it. Okay, now Mass Effect was one of my first games, uh, actually no, the Fable was, uh, the only games that had, char like, the whole concept of, yeah, you have to join this organization, but we will not penalize you for being a criminal or whatever. Now, Mass Effect was a bit loose with it because they still want you to be the good guy. The only question was, were you like the good guy, like were you the anti-hero who saved the, who would save the world no matter what the cost? Um, 
or in Mass Effect's case, the universe, no matter the cost, um, or were you just the paragon of righteousness? Whereas in Fable, you had the Heroes Guild. Now, Hero was, a, in the in Fable universe, Hero just meant a person who could harness a special type of energy, either into skill, uh, strength, or will, which was magic. Um, but the hero, but the thing is, like they even address it. Like once you finish the tutorial, uh, why do you, the world? Why do you be good or bad? D it does not matter. You are now a hero, you know. So that was the first game that was like, yeah. The, the term hero just means a person who can do these abilities. If you're, if you turn out to be a villain, okay. They, they honestly don't care. Hell, the, even some of the earliest quests in Fable that the Heroes Guild gives you are even working for bandits, where you're where you're told to, where where they want you to help them attack a farm. So like the Heroes Guild in Fable was like again they use the term hero loosely. Uh, it, it more refers to a species a subspecies of human. I, you could guess. You could say. Now, this organization is very similar in the sense that, like, hey, here's our goal. We are morally neutral. Um, like, if you're a pirate, but you still collect, you know, these artifacts and want to understand the universe, then you're still welcome. We, we don't care. We don't care what you are as long as you as long as you share the same goal as, our, as us. Like, again... That's a that's a very good approach to an open RPG that ha where there's a faction that you have to join for the sake of the story. Again, very good. Now there are other factions in the game, and joining them, I'm hoping, are, is more optional. <laughs> but like, I do like how this forced or like this early forced organization is so morally ambiguous. You know. It, again, it's very good. It's very enjoyable. Bet you never expected to end up involved in something like this. Now, the question is... I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. She is traveling with me, apparently. Do I still get the robot? Okay, it's clearly nighttime, and oh my god, look the way the mist makes the the lights look. Oh, and the trees. Well, okay, there's still okay. Clearly, there we're actually at sunset. Maybe my character should go to sleep. Well, we're ne we're now part of a new organization. Might as well take off my old uniform. There we go. Oh, but this is nice. 